on, y'all. Let's get in here and talk about something that I've been thinking about. I think there's this assumption that home birth midwifery looks like this hands-off approach all the time, 100% whatsoever. And I'm here to tell you that that is the opposite of the truth, okay? It's not true, all right? We are dealing with real lives in real time, HD 4K, all right? And so in that, there are going to be circumstances and situations that will require and call for some sort of intervention, be it some sort of screening, be it some sort of blood test, be it some sort of procedure, all right? Be it an ultrasound, heaven forbid. <laughs> Sometimes you're going to need to explore all options in some situations. And I think that mothers appreciate the good judgment of the midwife to extend and offer different options for different situations. I think a well-rounded midwife, a well-balanced, good practicing midwife is going to understand that, hey, yes, our approach most times uh, to care is this pathway with less intervention and less testing and all the things. However, when situations call for a higher level of care, then we have to get real and talk about these interventions that we may need to do. Um, in order to reach a goal or gather more information and data. And so when I speak with my clients, I let them know, hey, I'm a middle of the road midwife. I do like the approach first to be very natural and very hands off. However, if something is calling for an intervention so that we can get better understanding of a situation, by all means, I'm going to present that as an option. I'm going to present options to the family, to the moms, so they can make an informed decision and informed uh, choice about how they want to proceed in that situation. I think that's what's most um, appreciated is a midwife who can use that good judgment and make those good calls and bring to the table more knowledge and more uh, information and more options, regardless of if they are medicalized interventions or not. I think that's more appreciated, you know? I think that's good midwifing, to be honest with you. In the labor and delivery space, oh my goodness. I like to be hands off until I can't be. We know that labor and birth can be tricky. Sometimes during labor, you have to introduce different herbs and different um, procedures in the home space that are safe and non-pharmacological, right? Uh, pharmacological. Oh Lord, I don't mess that word up. Anyway, sometimes we have to introduce these things and bring out the life-saving meds to help with heavy bleeding or hemorrhaging, right? Sometimes we have to do those things so that we can have a better outcome or treat whatever situation has been presented to us. So nurse midwives who are thinking of coming into the home birth space, don't think that you have to have this hands-off approach because that's not reality. That's not a realistic um, experience. And it shouldn't be. The options that we have available to us should be utilized accordingly. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm.